Okay, this the problem is a volume by slicing. We've got a curve, y equals 1 minus x squared, which is the top of this parabola, crosses the x-axis at negative 1 and 1. Uh, and we're told that each cross-section perpendicular to the x-axis, that's what this is right here, uh, is the base of an isosceles triangle where the height is equal to the base. So over here I have an example of an isosceles triangle for this situation right here. This distance right here, you kind of have to visualize the isosceles triangle coming up this way, but here it is over here. This base is the same as this distance right here, and the height is the same as that distance right here. And when you do volume by slicing, you want to find the definite integral from A to B, or in our case, negative 1 to 1, of the area of a typical cross-section. And since this is a triangle, it's just 1 half the base times the height. So we could move the 1 half out front. And if you wanted to, since this uh, function is uh, an even function, the area or the volume to the left will equal the volume to the right. We could multiply by 2 and go from 0 to 1 if you wanted to. And then it's 1 minus x squared, the quantity squared, dx. Square that binomial, find an antiderivative, evaluate it from 0 to 1, and you should have your answer. And just for the heck of it, so that we're clear, I'm going to share my screen. Go to Desmos and show you that as this x of 1 value between negative 1 and 1 changes, so does the size of that cross-section change, the, the isosceles triangle. It's smaller and smaller. And then there's the, the isosceles triangle cross-section with the maximum area. And then to the left. Uh, get small. Okay, so there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, uh, post a comment. The, the final answer will be in that Desmos link that I attached to the answer. There you go. Thank you.